Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back uh, to uh, my series of tutorials about using Wicca as a machine learning tool to uh, classify different power system uh, assets. Okay, so uh, in, this, uh, in this tutorial we will deal with the problem that we mentioned in our previous tutorial which is how to deal with imbalance in the, in the data. But before that, let's let's summarize what we have there. So this is the classification problem we had in the previous example. And we said that, okay, we have very high accuracy or relatively high accuracy, around 89.5%. But we said that this is misleading. Why? Because when you go to the uh, confusion matrix and look carefully to each class, bad, marginal, and good, we'll see that the, for uh, the bad, we have only five, case, five cases were misclassified, but 140 were correctly classified. For the good, the same thing, only five misclassified, and 502 were correctly classified. However, when we look to the marginal, we have only 12 cases correctly classified, and 31 plus 35, 66 cases were misclassified. So when we look to the overall number of cases here, we have 76 total cases were misclassified. And out of those 76, 66 cases were misclassified from the, from the marginal. So this means that this number is not good. We need to look to the confusion matrix. Or even if you look to the, this metric, which is the true positive rate, again, for example, for the mar marginal, the true positive rate is basically how many positive were classified, which is 12, divided by the summation of all the classes, 31, or, or, or all cases, plus 12, plus 35, which give me this number, the point, 154 or 15.4%. So it's meaning that if I have a marginal case, I have a chance 15.4% only to classify it correctly. Now, when we increase the number of hidden layer from one to two, we have improvement on the marginal. Uh, compare this to this, this good improvement. The overall accuracy increases, okay? And we look to the true positive it jumps from 15.4% to 52.6%, which is not bad, but still compared to the other cases, it's not that good. So we have like 50, 50% chance, if I have a marginal case, that it could be misclassified or correctly classified. Question is how we can deal with this imbalance in the data. Today, I will talk about two techniques very fundamental, very basic techniques uh, that we can solve this issue of imbalance in the data. Uh, the first one is to combine or to reduce the number of cases. So there we have three cases. What if I will combine the bad and the marginal? Can I do that? Why not? Because, for example, if my problem was that I want to have the oil as good or bad. So the marginal case, I can consider it as, as a bad oil to be like, 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 let's say, overprotective. Okay, so I can do that. And make the 30 number, which is the threshold between the marginal and the good, as the threshold between all bad down and all good at the top. So with this, I will increase the number of the class, which is the bad, and I'm expecting to see better results. So this is one way. Another way is to reduce the number of the samples of the classes that has large number, which is in this case, the bad and the good, make somehow the number of each class almost the same. So we have around 78 in the marginal, make the bad and make the good 78 or around 78. How we can do that? Remove the excessive number of data. Okay, and let's see what is the impact of this on your, in your accuracy. So now we will uh, uh, do the uh, classification here. 
we will uh, use our uh, Wicca. Okay, so we'll start as usual using the Explorer. And then we'll open the, uh, our file. Okay, so uh, this is the folder. So I created two files. The first one I said IFT data classification for two classes. So I will open this. And we look here, we go to the number of classes. You will see here now we have bad and good. Now the bad is 223. The good as they are 507 from the previous. But now, as I said, I combine the marginal and, and the, the bad, and I call them both bad. So I will use the same classifier, the same number of hidden layer, and let's let's see the, the, the comparison between uh, the two. So let me select my classifier here, go to functions, the ANN, and let me uh, have the number of hidden layers as one. Okay, and start. I love this program, actually. It's really, really easy to use. I mean, it is, you can do a lot of things with it. Okay, so now let's look to the accuracy. The accuracy has improved to 95%. Remember, it was 89%. Not that only, but the true positive rate has improved. One is 0.87 or 87%. The other is 98%. So this is really a good, I'm looking to the confusion matrix here. You can see here that the number of cases that is misclassified was very, very little. Let's see what will happen if I increase the number of hidden layer, make it two. Okay, and start. Okay, so not much improvement there is not much improvement here actually so it is almost almost uh, uh, almost the same but that's something that is could be a solution to your problem combine the classes i don't need to have the luxury of three classes because i don't have enough data okay maybe in the future when i have enough data i can make more of uh, of uh, of balance so this is one solution so it has the drawback that i'm losing one of the classes okay uh, but that this is a, a solution. Let's try the other solution, which is remove the excessive number of the data and see what is the impact of this. So this is a, a file that I create. If you look to the IFT now, so we have three classes, but it is 79, 72, 82. So it is almost, almost the same classes. So there is no bias towards one of the classes. Let's see what will happen here. Let's classify, okay, and we let's choose this, the same, but let's have it as one hidden layer, and start. This is the answer. Okay, now let's look here. The accuracy has dropped. If you remember, it was 89%, now it is 80%. So there is a drop in the accuracy, and if you look here, through the true positive of each one has been dropped, 93 and 96 for the bad and for the for the good now when you look here the number of misclassified cases if you remember that it was five in each here it is five and here is three so it's almost the same misclassified cases however when you look here because the total number of cases is less so the rate will be will be will be less okay now but there is here significant improvement it was there 0.15, now this is 0.513. So this is a good improvement in the marginal. So not, because now there is not much bias, but still it's not that good. Let's see what if we increase the number of hidden layer to two. Let's say here and see what will happen. Start. Okay, so it's a little bit improved to 0.6. So it's better than the previous uh, cases. And, but here you see that the bad and the good has a bit of lower, uh, lower accuracy. Okay, so now sort of I reduced the one that has high accuracy and improved the one that has less accuracy. So it is sort of a trade-off that you have, you have to decide. Okay, now you might increase the number of samples to each one to 100, let's say, or 150, and you try. And this is what I'd like to conclude uh, my presentation today, that machine learning is 
combination of science and art. And you have to practice, you have to deal with your data. And always remember that what is applicable to certain data set may not be applicable to another data set. And we'll see that in the coming, in the coming uh, tutorials. Thank you for joining me and looking forward to meet you in uh, future tutorials.